Maybelle Carter was a pioneering musician whose talent and innovation forever changed the course of country music. As a member of the Carter family, Maybelle's distinctive style of guitar playing, which involved a unique finger-picking technique, became known as the Carter Scratch and remains a hallmark of the genre. But Maybelle's influence extended beyond her guitar playing. She was a gifted songwriter and vocalist, as well as a beloved matriarch of the Carter family, which became one of the most influential musical dynasties in American history. With their humble beginnings in rural Virginia, Maybelle's career spanned several decades and helped shape the sound of country music as we know it today. Maybelle Carter's story began in the small town of Nicholsville, Virginia on May 10, 1909. Her parents, Margaret Elizabeth and Hugh Jackson Addington, welcomed their daughter into a world where the traditional hill country songs of the region were a staple of everyday life. Maybelle's passion for music grew rapidly, and by the age of 12 she had become a skilled and original guitarist and auto harpist, well versed in the songs of her community. At 17 years old, Maybelle married Ezra Carter and they settled in Poor Valley, Virginia. The couple had three daughters together, Helen, June, and Anita, who would eventually follow in their mother's musical footsteps. Maybelle's talents did not go unnoticed, and in 1927, she became a founding member of the Carter family, a musical trio that also included her cousin Sarah and brother-in-law A.P. Carter. The Carter family's impact on the world of country music cannot be overstated. As one of the first commercial rural country music groups, they pioneered a sound that would come to define the genre. Maybelle Carter, a key member of the group, played a vital role in creating their unique sound. Maybelle was more than just a guitarist for the Carter family. She also played the auto harp and banjo, and her musical talents extended beyond her instrumental skills. Her innovative scratch style of guitar playing, which she developed herself, revolutionized the role of the instrument in the group's sound. Maybelle's technique involved using her thumb to play melody on the bass and middle strings of the guitar, while her index finger filled out the rhythm. This allowed her to play intricate melodies and create a fuller sound than was typically heard in country music at the time. Her style also emphasized the guitar as a lead instrument, rather than just a rhythmic accompaniment. By playing melody lines on the bass strings with her thumb while rhythmically strumming her fingers, Maybelle created a sound that was instantly recognizable. Her guitar playing became a hallmark of the Carter family sound, and her influence can still be heard in country music today. Maybelle Carter was a beloved figure in the early country music scene of the 1950s. Despite being in her 40s, she was known as Mother Maybelle and held a matriarchal position within the Grand Ole Opry community. Maybelle and her daughters toured extensively from the 1940s through the 1960s as the Carter sisters and Mother Maybelle. Their performances were always a hit with audiences and their popularity only grew over time. After the death of A.P. Carter in 1960, the group revived the name The Carter Family and frequently toured with Johnny Cash. They were regular performers on Cash's weekly network variety show from 1969 to 1971, showcasing their timeless sound to a new generation of fans. Despite their success, Maybell never forgot her roots. She briefly reunited with former Carter family member Sarah Carter during the 1960s folk music craze, with Sarah singing lead and Maybell providing harmony as before. Maybell Carter was a prolific artist, making occasional solo recordings throughout the 1960s and the 1970s. She was particularly known for her full-length albums, which showcased her unique style and musical talents. In 1973, Maybell released a two-record set on Columbia Records, which became a best-selling country album and charted on Billboard. This was a major accomplishment for Maybell, who was 64 years old at the time. Despite her age, Maybell continued to perform regularly on television appearing on the Johnny Cash show throughout the 1970s. She also toured extensively, performing for appreciative audiences across the country and even in Europe. Maybell was highly respected among her peers and was considered one of the esteemed elder traditional country musicians of her time. In fact, she was invited to perform with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band on their groundbreaking crossover album, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, in 1973. Maybelle Carter passed away on October 23, 1978, at the age of 69. 
She had been struggling with poor health for some time, and her passing was a great loss to the music world. Her death was felt deeply by her family and friends, as well as her many fans around the world. She had been a beloved figure in the country music community for decades, and her influence on the genre was immeasurable. Maybelle's legacy lived on, however, through her music and the countless artists she had inspired. Her innovative guitar playing and distinctive sound continued to influence musicians for generations to come. Although she was gone, Maybelle's impact on the world of music would never be forgotten. Her contributions to the genre had left an indelible mark and her memory would always be cherished by those who had known and loved her.